There hasn't been a tremendous amount of demand from our customer base for linked open data. We, we believe that the semantic web is an important uh, tool to support. We at Socrata, we, we think of uh, ourselves as providing a, like a toolbox of different functionalities for our customers. Um, and so along with our RESTful APIs and our UI visualization tools and everything else, we also provide some support for semantic modeling. Uh, but the drive for the creation of those tools is coming mostly from the semantic web community. Right. Right. On top of our normal platform is the ability for, so with Socrata you can already take your data sets, your flat files, XML files, um, data exported from your systems, load them into our platform, and create interactive APIs and tools on top of them. What we can do with the semantic web is you can then also go a step further and apply uh, semantic modeling on top of that data. So you can take your data, mark it up with semantics, mark it up with meaning basically, uh, and then we'll provide uh, an RDF XML output from that data. So you can take a CSV and do some lightweight modeling on it um, and get triples out of it, you get real semantic web data out of it. And I'm actually really excited about using um, semantics on our data, not only to be able to participate in the semantic web, but to be able to provide better tools. So as you assign meaning to data, um, that gives us a better ability to uh, provide and suggest customized uh, tools for working with that data, especially for uh, non-technical consumers. So it kind of takes this, that's the semantic knowledge that we, we've been applying to data and then uses that to provide a better experience for people who, who don't even know what semantics are. I think linked data is one of the, the best standardization options. Um, I do think it has a challenge of the kind of keep it simple stupid. Like many things that get adopted start somewhere simple and then there's a growing ramp of complexity. You know, you know the best things in the world are really simple to get started and then ultra, ultra powerful at the end. Obviously that's not true of everything. It's sometimes you stay simple or you take the really powerful option where you can you know, shoot off your foot if you need if, if you don't know what you're doing. I think I think so in that sense I do think um, this community I mean when you say uh, will get that. I think quite a bit of it is. There's quite a large amount of linked data stuff going on in government areas. Um, I do think, though, certainly from a developer perspective, a more like civic hacker community perspective, the linked data does need to um, sort out its schema kind of side of things. It's too many schemas, they're too complicated. Um, there's not enough tooling that's simple and easy to use. To give a very concrete example, we did a whole linked data project um, with bibliographic data. We got the British Library to release millions of records and converted them to linked data. Not only did we spend months debating, like which collect, you know, there seemed to be like 12 different things you could use to do a collection of objects. You know, you know which was the optimal thing. There were three bibliographic schemas in existence because it's so easy to write one. Um, and um, the other aspect was that we wanted to do stuff in Python, build a web application, and we had to end up writing our own bindings to Virtuoso, which was at the time the only open source uh, spark Sparkle you know, linked data store that actually had an Ubuntu or Debian package. I think it's still early years, it's just really just the second year of this conference, and maybe you know in the next three, four, five years, much like Semtech, it's like going, what, like nine years now? Yeah. And it seems to be every year is going to be the year when semantic technology really goes big. And maybe this intersection of open data and linked data, I think, is self-reinforcing. And once we have some examples out in the wild, people will get it, I think. But perhaps maybe we should focus more on the solutions rather than the technology, because we're all convinced that this is the technology that will link all this knowledge, right? But maybe instead of talking RDF, triple stores, and all these other things, maybe we should just build more of these eye-popping applications. And at the end of the day, people really don't care about what's under the hood, right? They just want the knowledge that, you know, maybe that we can, just because there's really no other way, no other technology that can offer the same kind of uh, mashup, you know, linking capability that LinkedIn has.